Hey guys, welcome to the second part of our tour around the city of Balestrum. Here we are in the market. As you can see, the test certificates all standing up on the wooden blocks. Just like I didn't want them to. They seem to like doing that, I don't know why. Must be something in their AI. Oh, got a bit lost there. Even I get lost around here, to be honest. Got iron golems there. Um, every couple of days I have to go around and kill them. Because uh, they get trapped in little roads and... It's very cramped around here. So we have the interior of a house, one of the poorer houses. It's quite simple, not much in them. Right, if we find a wall, right, this one here, go over and show you the interior of these walls. A little walk along one. There's the entrance. I'll show you the down stairs bit. Here we have the little um, eyelets or whatever they're called, where archers shoot their arrows out of. I did them on the inside of the wall as well, just to break it up and so it's not just a wall of grey, basically. Here we have the farmlands, pointing from this angle. You see the wheat, the windmill, pumpkins and melons to the left. Quite happy with how it came out. I stuck with two blades in the end to look better. Here we have the livestock chickens, pigs, sheep. If we go this way, along here, past the wheat field again, we will wind up at the quarry. Really like how that came out. That looks really good, I think. Got the lumber yard and the mage tower. Do you think it looks like a figure with a cloak? That wasn't what I was going for, but I think it's got that look about it. I don't know why. Go up here. Got kitchens. Nothing on this floor. But I think if you go up here, yes, yeah, the library with a light-up table in the middle to make it more magical. The sleeping quarters and at the very top magical area for casting and such such like. I think we missed one of the wings, yeah we did this one. More sleeping quarters. Not much else in there. That's the mage tower. Now let's go over and look at the castle. Um, you've probably seen it in several of the previous videos and seen that little progress has been made on it. But that's because it's not my castle actually, it's friend Jordan's. Uh, he will be completing it at some point and that will be the crowning jewel, the jewel in the crown rather, of Balestrom City once it's done. Well thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.